Hi, my name is Alex. I'm here to show you, uh, based on just a comment or a post that was made on Reddit, there was someone was asking how to clip rat toenails. So I figured I would show you. Uh, I have all my rats here, and the willing participant is up in her little cage right there. Uh, basically, you need three things. Well, four things. Uh, you need a rat, obviously. You need uh, any kind of fingernail clippers, uh, preferably smaller ones, just so you have more control. Uh, a box and a treat. Um, yeah, right. So what I'm going to do, just to kind of give it a, a good example and give you a good idea of what you're probably going to deal with, is I'm going to test this or show you this on a rat that has never had her toenails clipped before. So, Rosie, come here. Okay, so first of all you need the box and one of the most important things to do there you go, is to make sure that the flaps on the box stay up that way it's a little bit taller and she has less incentive to come out um, now the easiest way to do this is, is, is to kind of let her calm down a little bit if the rat is a little active um, she'll sniff around a little bit no big deal but uh, another thing to keep in mind is that you only need to do the back toenails. Unless for whatever reason a vet has told you to clip the front toenails, um, you rarely ever, ever have to do that unless the toenails are growing really long for whatever reason because of the fact that their back toenails are the ones that are actually used for scratching. Now, Rosie loves to explore, and so she is never afraid of random climbing and whatever. But anyway, um, I had a rat at one point who needed her toenails clipped weekly because they were growing too fast and nothing was naturally trimming them, so she formed a lot of cuts around her neck as she would scratch herself. So what you're going to do here is, um, it's best to have this on a surface other than your lap. You are a goof. Hey, no, go down. Yeah, you can imagine how much trouble this is going to be. But, it's easier to do this when it's not in your lap, so I'm going to put it in the chair right here. And then the best thing to do is to kind of push them into a corner and force them there. So that way you have positive control of the rat and you can keep them in that corner. Now they're going to wiggle because any rat would wiggle. But the, the easiest way to do it is to grab their leg while they're in that corner and slowly put the, the nail clippers over each individual toenail. Never do more than one at a time. And you usually only need to do these main three, because the other two are shorter and they're out of the way. But you just need to do those three, control the rat, and slowly put the nail clippers over their toenails and clip them. Now I'm not going to do Rosie's toenails here, because her toenails are already short and I really don't want to clip them shorter than they need to be. Um, because you want to be careful, they have kind of the pink stuff and everyone talks about having to clip cats and dogs toenails and you don't want to clip it too short obviously if your rat's toenails are too long um, you're gonna have a little bit of room to cut and it won't be a problem but uh, in this case her toenails are already short so I don't want to cut any farther than I have to but you could see in the demonstration that it was pretty easy you just have to kind of push them into a corner and isolate them into that corner to maintain control of them and then you stick their leg up and usually they're kind of fine with that um, I mean, she's, she's a pretty friendly rat, but I've done it on rats that weren't really comfortable with being uh, moved around. And no rat is really fully comfortable with you just kind of picking them up. But, uh, but yeah, after the first time or two, they'll get used to it. And I know I said you have to have a treat as your fourth item. And the purpose of the treat is if you're planning on cutting your rat's toenails, which usually has to happen on a weekly basis, giving them a treat in the end kind of tells them that, hey, it's, it's done with and she doesn't like peas, I forgot about that. Ugh. She does like peanuts, don't you? Yeah, hey, come here. But anyway, uh, once again, my name is Alex, and uh, there's your little lesson in clipping rat toenails, and I hope it was informative and fun. Thank you.